so here we have a system where the uh, bankster intermediaries, the uh, criminal gang that supports the criminal gang at the top of the pyramid, by that I mean officialdom, all the politicians and the basic, e basic um, evil bastards that run government at all, uh, and all the institutions, are supported and, con and um, uh, basically financed by the bankster layer. And the bankster layer is uh, eroding. So uh, the erosion of it is uh, occurring at a level of um, uh, uh, noticeability, let's put it at that way. And we're starting to see it erode in a number of different places. The U.S. dollar was created in 1913, 1910, actually, as a conspiracy against the people of the United States. It does not. Uh, it is not our national identity. It is not um, anything that uh, binds us together. It is a, a tool of our oppressors. It is not in any way worth fighting for. If the dollar is going to die, jump up and down and shout hooray. Uh, paper currencies rarely last longer than 72 years. Look at history. Uh, ours has lasted longer than that because it was the petrodollar and because it was global reserve and because it was backed by the biggest fucking badass empire on the planet willing to bomb the shit out of old ladies and children just to perpetuate the dollar for the evil Kabbalists. And you want me to be upset about this? That the dollar is going to die? It's like, thank you, no. I've got real currency. I'm dealing in, you know, something other than that. You know, seeds, um, metals of all kinds, and uh, bitcoins. I don't have to rely on the Kabbalists and their Federal Reserve um, uh, shit dollar that's been enslaving the planet and causing uh, death and destruction for uh, more than a couple of generations now. You're going to get upset about the death of the dollar, and you should not. <laughs> you should be <laughs> excited about it. Hooray, hooray. You know, Bernanke and all the other damn Zionists aren't going to have that tool to oppress you. They'll have to be naked fascists once the dollar dies. They'll have to oppress the population with guns and people in black suits and all this heavy-duty tactical gear and all that kind of crap. And when that happens, that's the end of them because they have no moral authority once their force, which is really all they've ever had, is out in the open. Then it's all of us against them and the system comes unglued and then we redo it and come up with something better. You know, war is a racket. It's been a racket. Uh, there's never been a war in the United States that was not uh, started by a false flag, that wasn't a bankster war. All this is bullshit. So we need to get out of the bullshit and be smart about this. Minister Fuller described in the uh, 60s and 70s where he said systems are becoming so complex we cannot have a revolution what we have to do is to have a reinvention